Well, the race for Arkansas's 2nd District congressional seat is always one to watch. This year, Democrats believe the retired Army Colonel Marcus Jones can unseat the longtime Congressman French Hill. We will hear from the incumbent tomorrow. But tonight, our Kaylin Clay sits down with Colonel Jones. Kaylin. Well, Chris, retired Army Colonel Marcus Jones cast his ballot earlier today. Now, Jones points to his desire to grow the district as his reason for running. What I didn't see being delivered on is a lot of opportunity and, and you know, capability uh, coming back to uh, the second district. The Colonel boasts his career in national security. I've spent my entire adult life leading art, large organizations in the most complex of circumstances. Uh, I've done that in Iraq. Uh, I've done it uh, as a member of NATO. I've done it in South Korea. Jones stands on his interest in supporting Arkansas families, seniors, and veterans, saying he believes Arkansas comes first. We have talked to thousands of Arkansans uh, across the 2nd District, and what we hear are people are worried about, uh, you know, they're worried about those things that affect their everyday life. Good luck, candidate. And what he previously shares with KETV. Things like uh, expanding and codifying the uh, child tax credit that's been proven to lift families out of poverty, uh, putting that money back into people's pockets, uh, you know, for things like groceries or to offset child care. One thing at the top of his mind, he says, is improving access to health care. How, how access to health care affects uh, every one of those groups, uh, veterans, seniors, uh, and our family. So that's something I'm very interested in. That has a, a, a tangible effect on every Arkansan's life. It has an effect on our economy. It has an effect on, on the outlook that we have uh, as a district. And he expands on his goals to support veterans. We've got to do that through uh, increasing capacity at the VA, as well as you know ensuring that we have fully funded uh, the VA to make sure that it has the, the capabilities that it needs uh, to deliver for our veterans. Well, Jones previously shared with KETV that other services he'd like to provide to veterans include education opportunities and mental health services. He also says he believes in addressing women's rights from the federal level. On your side, I'm Kaylin Clay. All right, Kaylin, thank you so much. Tomorrow night, we'll continue our coverage of the race for the 2nd Congressional District seat. Don't miss our conversation with the incumbent Congressman, French Hill.